Introducing our official partners. IVF Matters, leading the way in fertility care. And Cancer Aid and Research Foundation. Welcome back to another round of Science vs. Superstition. In parts 1 and 2, we tackled everything from detox cleanses to sugar highs. But even after 20 minutes, there are still plenty of health misconceptions out there, alive and thriving in group chats, TikTok videos, and even dinner table conversations. So today, we're taking on the next 10, myths number 21 to number 30. Get ready because once again, we're separating what sounds right from what's scientifically true. Myth number 21. Cracking your neck causes a stroke. What people believe, don't crack your neck, you could have a stroke. It's a terrifying warning passed around every few years. What the science shows, ordinary casual neck cracking is not going to cause a stroke in healthy individuals. The specific medical concern is cervical artery dissection, a rare tear in the neck arteries that can lead to clot formation. How we know, a 2023 review in Frontiers in Neurology found that most of these cases follow severe trauma or extreme, sudden manipulation, such as a high-velocity chiropractic twist, not everyday stretching or self-cracking. The risk is extremely rare. The verdict, so stretch carefully, but you don't need to panic every time your neck pops. Myth number 22. Sitting too close to the TV ruins your eyesight. What people believe, every 90s kid remembers being told, don't sit too close, you'll ruin your eyes. What the science shows, sitting close may cause temporary eye strain, dryness, or fatigue, but it does not cause permanent damage. Children often sit close simply because they can focus clearly at shorter distances. How we know, the American Academy of Ophthalmology confirms this myth is completely unfounded. Eye strain is temporary, eye damage is not. The verdict, so your childhood TV habits didn't ruin your eyes, but they may have made you love cartoons a bit too much. Myth number 23, you must have a bowel movement every day. What people believe, a lot of people think they're backed up or unhealthy if they don't have a bowel movement daily. What the science shows, regular does not mean daily. Most doctors define normal frequency as anywhere from three times a day to three times a week. How we know, gastroenterologists at the Cleveland Clinic and other institutions emphasize that consistency matters more than frequency. What is important is how you feel. If you are comfortable and not straining, your system is working normally. The verdict, your intestines aren't on a daily schedule, they're on your schedule. Myth number 24. The five second rule keeps food safe. What people believe, if you drop food on the floor, you can pick it up within five seconds and it will be safe to eat. What the science shows, Bacteria transfer happens almost instantly, especially to moist foods. The five-second rule does not prevent contamination. How we know. A 2016 Rutgers University study found that wet foods picked up bacteria within half a second. So the real rule is simple. If it hits the floor, it's dirty. The verdict. Sorry, but the five-second rule is about as real as a five-minute workout miracle. Myth number 25. If you swallow gum, it stays in your stomach for seven years. What people believe, this playground classic warns that if you swallow gum, the indigestible base will stick in your stomach for seven years. What the science shows, gum base is indigestible, yes, but your body moves it along just like fiber and other non-nutritive materials. It passes through the digestive tract in a few days, not years. How we know, 
Gastroenterology case studies show gum only causes issues when swallowed in exceptionally large quantities or in individuals with chronic constipation. For the average person, it passes smoothly. The verdict, so go ahead, if you accidentally swallow gum, your stomach isn't turning into a bubble machine. Myth number 26, you can catch STDs from toilet seats. What people believe, a widespread myth claims that sexually transmitted diseases can be acquired by sitting on a public toilet seat. What the science shows, you cannot get STDs from toilet seats. Viruses like HIV, herpes, and HPV cannot survive long outside the body, especially on dry, cold surfaces. They require direct skin or mucosal contact for transmission. How we know. The CDC and other health organizations confirm that no credible cases exist of STI transmission from toilets. The survival time of these viruses on surfaces is typically seconds to minutes. The verdict. The seat might be uncomfortable, but it's not contagious. Myth number 27. You need milk for strong bones as an adult. What people believe. Drink your milk. It's good for your bones. Many people believe they need to consume large amounts of dairy as adults to maintain strong bones. What the science shows. While milk is great for children building bone mass, the benefit for adults is limited. Once peak bone mass is built, extra calcium and dairy don't significantly increase bone strength or prevent fractures. How we know. A Harvard meta-analysis found that countries with the highest dairy consumption didn't have lower fracture rates. Strong bones need vitamin D, exercise, and a balanced diet, not gallons of milk. The verdict. A glass of milk is fine, but your skeleton doesn't need a refill every hour. Myth number 28. Dehydration only happens in hot weather. What people believe. Everyone associates dehydration with summer heat, forgetting that cold weather poses a significant risk as well. What the science shows. Cold air can dry you out because humidity drops and your body's natural first response decreases by up to 40% in cold conditions. You can be significantly dehydrated even if you don't feel thirsty. How we know. Research from the U.S. Army Institute of Environmental Medicine shows significant winter dehydration in subjects performing even light activity in cold climates. We lose a lot of water through breathing cold, dry air. The verdict. So next time you hit the slopes, pack water, not just cocoa. Myth number 29. If it's herbal, it can't hurt you. What people believe natural equals safe. This is a foundational but dangerous myth in modern wellness culture. What the science shows, many herbal supplements are safe, but others can cause serious harm or interact dangerously with prescription drugs. Examples include kava and comfrey, which can damage the liver, and ephedra, which can raise heart rate and blood pressure. How we know, the NIH and FDA warned that natural products are not tested for purity or potency before sale. They can contain incorrect dosages, contaminants, or unlisted ingredients. The verdict, nature heals, but it can also harm. Always tell your doctor what you take. Myth number 30. You can train your immune system by constantly getting sick. What people believe. The last one, some people claim that getting frequent infections trains and strengthens your immune system. What the science shows, that's not how immunity works. Your immune system learns through controlled exposure, like vaccines, not uncontrolled illness. Each infection risks severe complications and long-term damage to organs or tissues. How we know. Research from the CDC and institutions like Johns Hopkins shows that vaccines safely mimic infection, allowing your body to create memory cells without experiencing the full disease and its risks. The verdict. Your immune system doesn't need chaos, it needs education. 
Conclusion As we reach the conclusion, 10 more myths gone. Because science isn't about believing or disbelieving, it's about testing what we think we know. From your neck to your nutrition, your brain to your bones, the truth is always more fascinating than the fiction. If you learn something new, hit like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who still quotes the 5 second rule. Stay curious. Stay skeptical. And remember, evidence beats intuition every time. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights on appraisals, revalidation, and interesting topics in healthcare.